as a student at Arizona State University. You have access to exotic locations around the four campuses, such as these, and this, and this, and even this, to use for your class film projects. But the question is, how do I get permission to film on campus? I'm Chris Lamont, faculty member and the location coordinator for student filming at ASU. And in this short video, we're going to talk about how to get permission to film on locations for any of the four campuses here at Arizona State University. Now, if you're filming your class project, but you're not filming on any of the four campuses, then you don't need to watch this video. Just make sure you get proper permission to film at any private or public location. Thanks for watching. Now for the rest of us, let's talk about locations. Basically, as an ASU student, if you get proper permission, you can film on any ASU campus. That's Maine, Polytech, ASU Tempe, and ASU West. And there's plenty of places to choose from on campus. Classrooms, sidewalks, interior buildings, hallways, Memorial Union, streets, roads. And there's this place called the library. They have books. They were popular in the 19th and 20th centuries. So basically, the list of places to shoot is staggering as long as you don't use the ASU logo in any of your filming. Now then, here's the list of places that you can't film. These are what the university calls ASU signature buildings. None of the exteriors of the following buildings can be in the background of any film you make for a class project. These ASU signature buildings are Sun Angel Stadium, Sun Devil Stadium, Old Main, Wells Fargo Arena, and Grady Gamage Memorial Auditorium. Permission to film in front of these buildings, you can do it as long as you pay $1,500 a day. I wouldn't do that if I were you, I'm, I'm just saying. So where can you film? Pretty much everywhere else, but there's a step-by-step -step process to do so. Now you're going to go online to the ASU Communication Guide. The web address is on the screen. You're gonna go here to this one called ASU Photos, Videos, or Permission to Film. Click this and you go here. You know you're in the right place if it says Filming at ASU. As you go down the page, here's some quick notes. Remember that anything you do on campus is done under the ASU Student Code of Conduct, especially filming people without permission and don't make the university look bad. Everyone in your group is responsible for conducting themselves in a proper and professional way. Now zip down to the part that says Film, Photo, Video Shoot Requests, ASU Students. The big thing here is that there's a restriction on time for filming on campus. Students may only film narrative films, that's films with actors, Monday through Thursday after 5 p.m. or Friday after 2 p.m. or anytime Saturday and Sunday. It's because film projects can't interfere with ASU business. You know like classes and maintenance and people walking and driving and eating and doing sports. You get the idea. We have to stay out of everyone's way during prime business hours. Also to process all of your paperwork we need like three business days. If you can't submit within three business days then you don't have permission to film. And if you do film without permission, getting caught would mean things like losing points, losing grades, flunking classes, suspension, expulsion, a whole lot of those things that you don't want to deal with. So do it early, and if it's not early, just change your shoot dates so it is early. So there's three steps you need to take to get approved for filming on campus. Step one is you need to follow the link on the ComGuide website to the ASU Student Film Photo Video Shoot application. So click here. And it takes you to this nifty page, fill in the blanks, today's date, the start date when you want to shoot, the locations you want to film at, and all of your contact information that includes the class you're doing the film for and the instructor's name. When you submit it, it sends me a notification that you're looking to film on campus. You can send this as early as you want. Step two, there are two documents you need to fill out. You only submit these to me when you already know where you want to film and when you want to film. So go back to that main page and there are the links to these two other documents. The first one is the ASU Filming Agreement and Safety Policy. To get permission to film, you need someone to approve it. So you need to know exactly where you want to film and what days and what times. For interior locations, someone has to approve your request. That's kind of what this filming agreement is for. You take the form to the Memorial Union, for example, and in the business office, ask them to check their calendars and work out when you want to film. A representative from the MU will sign this form and you're set. For classrooms, someone gives you permission. Now at the School of Film, Dance, and Theater, it's at the business office in Dixie Gamage 232. If you want hallways, go to the individual buildings. There's always someone to give you permission to film somewhere. Now if you want to film an exterior, that's something that actually is approved by the faculty location coordinator. Hey, that's right, it's me. So you fill it out, request where you want to film and when, and then scan an email to me. My address is in the Com Guide page, and it's also on the screen. And I will look over your exterior location request, and if it falls within the proper dates and times, and isn't a signature building, you're pretty much good to go. 
For parking lots, you have to talk to parking and transit. I know how fun that is. But I can actually give you permission to film in the roadways on campus. I'm the authorizing facility representative, so you'll just go through me. Send me the form filled out, and if it's in compliance, I'll just sign off on it. The other document is a scary one. The ASU Film Safety Policy Declaration. This form is covered in my other video, ASU Filming Safety Policy video. Even if you aren't a student at the School of Film, Dance, and Theater, it lets you know how important conducting your film production safety is to the university. Basically, this form says that you acknowledge that there may be an element in your film that ASU considers a safety concern. This includes weapons, physical violence, pyrotechnics, moving vehicles, and casting of actors under the age of 18 or using live animals. There are also some things about getting permission to film wherever you go, like for on-campus filming going through this process. And if you film off campus, you're getting permission. So this form is what you need to take to your instructor of the class that you're making the film for as a project for a grade. They'll talk to you about your project. Now, if there aren't any safety concerns, they just put your signed form on file. But if there are concerns, your instructor will need to counsel you and then sign off on it. Okay, I know this is a lot of paperwork, and yes, nobody likes to do paperwork or get permission or follow instructions or stop texting while you watch this video. We know that. But these are the rules, so you have to follow them. So, sorry. Okay, I said there were three steps. Step three is either scan or take a picture and email me your signed location agreement. Or if you're filming exteriors, just send me your location agreement because I'm going to sign it. I'll reply back with the official ASU film location permit. Keep it with you at all times while you're on campus filming, and if someone hassles you, just show them the permit. And that should be enough to continue filming without any issues. Step four is the most important step. Go make your movie. That's right, after wading through this endless sea of policy procedures and this video, it's time to go and have fun. You know, making movies is pretty much the coolest thing you can do when you're in college, so enjoy it, because you don't make a movie every day. But if you do, don't forget that paperwork. Okay, that's it. Email me with questions, and I'm ready to help. It's what I do. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy doing all of this paperwork. Hello, Wazowski. Fun-filled evening planned for tonight? Well, as a matter of fact... And I'm sure you filed your paperwork correctly. For once, your stunned silence is very reassuring.